P2P lending and traditional banking, as outlined by Baha Abdul Hussein, offer contrasting lending and borrowing models, each with its own set of pros and cons. It's crucial for borrowers and investors to comprehend these distinctions when making financial decisions. In P2P lending, borrowers and investors connect directly through online platforms, streamlining the lending process by bypassing lengthy approvals and paperwork. Traditional banking, however, involves centralized loan applications, subject to rigorous evaluations and credit checks, often leading to longer processing times. Interest rates in P2P lending tend to be competitive for borrowers and offer higher returns for investors, due to reduced overhead costs. Traditional banks, burdened by operational expenses, often result in higher borrower interest rates and lower returns for depositors. P2P lending also champions financial inclusion by extending funding to individuals with limited credit history or unconventional financial backgrounds, utilizing innovative credit scoring methods. Risk management varies between the two approaches. Traditional banks employ established risk mitigation practices, including credit checks and collateral requirements. In contrast, P2P lending platforms face challenges in managing risk, particularly in the event of borrower defaults. P2P lending excels in offering flexible loan sizes and purposes, accommodating specific needs without rigid terms. However, traditional banks build robust relationships with customers by providing personalized financial services beyond lending, including investment guidance. Ultimately, the choice between P2P lending and traditional banking hinges on individual preferences and circumstances. Both models cater to distinct consumer groups, with P2P lending catering to financial inclusivity and efficiency while traditional banks offer diverse financial services and personalized relationships. The popularity of P2P lending notwithstanding, traditional banks still maintain a significant demand in the financial landscape.